Hey everybody, welcome to Cupboard Creations. My name is Gareth and this is my little corner of the internet for playing with my food. Today I'm going to do for you a caramelised red onion and goat's cheese tart. Like spring is kind of on the way, so you know I even managed to sit out in a pub beer garden yesterday and get a bit of sun. So it's almost there and this is such a great kind of spring meal. And you know, lunches, dinners, whichever you fancy. Really, really good and really, really easy. So we start with onions. We're going to need a kilo of red onions. And all you're going to do, pop them in half, strip them off, and then cut them into kind of semicircles. So there we go, we've got semicircles there. They're about probably half a centimetre thick. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so my onions are all done. Quite a, quite a mission, that one. Crying quite a lot. Now we can just kind of wilt those down really. So we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil, bottom of a pan, just maybe a tablespoon or two. And then we're gonna add in the spices just to kind of get them fragrant. And this is quite a cool mix of spices this. So we're gonna use a teaspoon of nigella seeds, which I just love the flavor of these. It goes so well with this. Teaspoon yellow mustard seeds. like so and then half a teaspoon of garlic granules in there and half a teaspoon of fennel seeds you don't want too many fennel because that kind of flavor is really really strong and it can kind of get over everything else so half a teaspoon is all you're going to need and then you're just going to fry those off until you kind of get those aromatic smells just all around your kitchen You'll smell it pretty quick. It'll only take a couple of seconds. Yeah, there you go. Really get the hit of those nigella seeds. They're fantastic. So now just whack your red onions in. There you go. You need a pretty big saucepan for this one. There's quite a lot there, but it's really going to wilt down. So you just want that stirred around. And then keep it on a low, low heat. You want to do this bit really slowly. Okay, so now on that low, just lid on, leave it there for 20 minutes. Keep stirring it every now and again. It's going to really kind of reduce right down and you'll just get these lovely kind of soft red onions in there. Perfect. See you in 20. Okay, so that's had its 20 minutes and you'll see it is so much softer. It will have kind of reduced down by half. You've got a really nice, kind of, yeah, softened, lovely, sweet smelling kind of onions in there. Fab. So to that, we're going to do a few little things. So we're almost making a bit like a chutney. Um, we're not going to go as far as having too much liquid in there. We want it kind of like a dry chutney almost. So we're going to add in some sugar. So I'm going to use light, soft brown sugar. I'm going to add in three tablespoons or about 60 grams. So three good Good heap tablespoons in there. Lovely. And then what goes really well when you're doing this, obviously vinegar. And because we're using red onions, I'm gonna use red wine vinegar, just because I think the match between the two is just so good. So we're gonna put in three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. like so and then just want a pinch of sea salt so give that a bit in there and again we're just going to stir this through and what that's going to do is that's really going to help the kind of caramelization process happen you'll get these really delicious sweet onions out of it really really nice so there's a bit of liquid in there but give it a good stir get it all mixed in and then you're just going to crank up the heat a little bit. So not so low to medium. And then we're going to simmer that away for another 20 minutes just with the lid off. And gradually what will happen is they'll just get more and more caramelized, more and more delicious. And all of that liquid will kind of disappear. So another 20 and I'll catch you then. So there we go. That's done now. You've kind of got like this much darker, really soft onion mixture at the bottom there. 
there shouldn't be any kind of real pools of liquid left so you'll be able to drag your spoon and you won't see anything flowing back and that's what you're looking for if you've got a little bit too much liquid in there you think just crank up the heat a little bit give it another one or two minutes you're not really going to harm the onions at this point but that's perfect so we can turn that off and we can go and put the tart together okay so now we can put this tart together what i need to do here is grab yourself a baking tray and then we're going to use some puff pastry but very first thing a little bit of vegetable oil just on your hand and then spread it onto that base and what that'll do what i find is it really really helps you get a kind of crisp bottom to the puff pastry really useful so give that a good smear around lovely perfect now you've got oily hands but it doesn't matter too much <laughs> so now just grab i'm using ready rolled puff pastry grab a piece here it's going to be a little bit too big probably for your baking tray but just get one corner to where you want it and then we're just going to trim off so that it fits nicely and i've got something i really like doing with leftover puff pastry like this so none of it's going to go to waste so we're just going to pop that off there trim that down and keep those bits for later so there we go nicely done now what we're going to do is just kind of create an edge to it so about two centimeters in you want to get your knife don't go through but just score to make a nice little kind of rectangle in between and we've got our nice little rectangle in the middle and then grab yourself a fork and that middle rectangle we're going to lay everything on so we don't want it to puff up so we're just going to do the same just give it a little pierce around don't have to go right through it's just enough to kind of stop it so that's the base of the tart done now just spoon on your onion mixture try and like pull it up again so any liquid kind of extra liquid just stays in the pan you just want to spoon that onto that middle rectangle there we go get it as close as we can to those edges and if you feel like you've got any left over don't worry too much this stuff is lovely on burgers or just on a cheese sandwich and that'll keep for a week in a little pot so perfect all right now for the cheese so i'm using goat's cheese here and a really soft one because i just love that kind of ooziness that you get from it and you're going to use quite a lot it's going to look a bit crazy at the start but what will happen is as the goat's cheese cooks in the oven it will kind of sink through into the red onion sort of chutney-ish type stuff at the bottom um, and you'll kind of see more of it you know it will start to pop through so don't worry if it looks like you've just completely covered it in cheese but you're going to use probably about 150 um, to 180 grams of goat's cheese you can really go crazy as much or as little as you like if you just really want the kind of red onion flavor then go with less but i gave this to my wife and she was like needs more cheese we also have tried it with feta as well works really really well right now that's all done all we've got to do is give it a bit of an egg wash around the outside just on that edging We'll just help it get a really nice kind of crust to it be absolutely delicious so give that a good good egg wash around the edges perfect and now that's just going to go in that oven at 180 degrees c for 20 minutes until those sides have risen up kind of creating this lovely crust to it and it should be all good so see you in about 20 minutes hopefully this works and there we go after 20 minutes in the oven, comes out, those sides have raised up, got this perfect, gorgeous, caramelized red onion and goat's cheese tart. I've lost my knife, I found my knife. <laughs> but you should still get, yeah, kind of a nice crispy bottom. Just, just beautiful. It's gonna go lovely with a side salad on a nice day. Really delicious. So we just chop a piece off. And there we go, we just slide it on beautiful little little side salad there watercress goes really nice with this that pepperiness there you go my caramelized red onion and goat's cheese tart 
Really, really delicious. Absolutely love this one. I hope you give it a go. I hope you enjoy it. It is lovely.